Now Bernard has just done it again. Okay, I'll take you back. I'm on a battery at the moment to try and stop any interference. Not running off a power supply. So I disconnect. Give it say 10 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that didn't fire. Give it another say 5 odd seconds. Going for the bite. Okay, we've got to run it again. If I've got enough video time, I'll put it back and we'll monitor a bit longer. Just so you can get an idea of what's going on so that I don't have to try and put it in the email. You can physically see it. It's not a figment of my imagination, mate. Other than that, it's been working really well. And I was convinced it may have been some sort of interference from the um, the power supplies that I was using. And it still possibly could be interference. But the blue wires that you can see going into the board, that's for 240 volts. It's been uh, the circuit made and the circuit broken to pulse the water pump or the circulation pump. And... Um, the red and the black, as you can see, are running back to the battery as a last ditch attempt just to see whether or not it would be the fault. It seems to be intermittent. It occurs sometimes in, say, five minutes, then it'll take 10 minutes, then it'll take, say, even 15 to 20, but it always seems to stop. So we'll leave it at that for a minute and we'll just see what happens. Keep your eye on it. And of course, it'll probably make a liar of me and uh, keep going until the video time I've got left on my phone he runs out and stop directly after it runs out. But we'll see what happens, eh? I've got 7 minutes and 20 seconds left on the phone, so we'll see what happens.
just for interest sake, it's about 36 degrees Celsius here at the moment down in uh, Victoria, Australia, in Wonsaggy. So it's done it in the colder weather too, like yesterday it was in the say low 20s, 23 it was doing it. So temperature doesn't really seem to be a factor. So we'll just see what happens. Four minutes 54 left on my phone, it'll make another liar of me. But at least you got to see it stop. The voltage running to it at the moment off the battery is about 12 point four seven volts. The little transformer I had running it was about twelve point one seven and the other one that I was running it on was about thirteen point eight. Which I don't think would really affect it. So it's in one of its good modes at the moment, but I can't trust it because it ends up stopping on me. And then the um compressor goes into a bit of thermal runaway, starts drawing hideous ampage. I've seen it go up to 10, 12 amps because uh, the way I've got it rigged up at the moment, there's no thermal cutout hooked up on it until I put in a, um, a circuit breaker, 8 amp circuit breaker, just to cover it. There we go. Gone and stopped on me just as I'm talking to you. So you saw that one stop then, so it's run for... Um, I'll have to look at it on the computer when I upload it and be able to see the time. So according to the phone, what are we on? Three minutes twenty, so six by four. It's probably about four or five minutes that ran for then. I've got three odd minutes left. And um, yeah, so I'll fire up again, I'll give you a look. Here we go. So I reach in, I disconnect the positive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, back on, and away she goes. So when she's working, she works great. She does the job perfectly. She's a great little um, piece of circuitry. But I reckon there's a little inherent fault in this. So I'll leave that up to your um, expertise there, Bernard. You can have a look at that. and Maybe we might have to just try another one and just give that one a run. Hang on, I'm just going to check the ante. Yeah, she's climbed up to about 6.2, till about 6.2 amps at the moment, it's drawing. I'll give you a decker around the side here. Where are we on there at the moment? Shocking. Well, 6.2, 6.1, fluctuating, and it should come down now because the circulation pumps back on. Uh, if anything, it looks like it's climbing. Take a minute to catch back up. Oh. It seems to be steady there, nothing higher than 6.3. She's dropping down there. Oh no, 6.33. 6.35. Yeah, there it goes up again. Yeah, well, that's, that's the problem that I seem to strike there, uh, Bernard. So you can sort of see what we've got left. We've got 20, uh, 1 minute 20 odd left. So that's the system of running here, a ream heat pump. Just testing it in the garage at the moment. And that's the problem we're striking. So hopefully you can sort of make something of that, mate. So I'll leave it to you and I'll whack this up on YouTube and we can have a look at it. Catch you later, mate.